welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.26 and the question here is that a california study concluded that following seven sim simple health rules can extend a man's life by 11 years on the average and woman's life by seven years okay uh, so these seven rules are as follows okay the first rule here is uh, no smoking let me use another color for it and that is let me choose this one so the first one here is no smoking second one is get regular exercise third one is use alcohol only in moderation uh, fourth one is get seven to eight hours of sleep okay uh, this is the fourth one fifth one is maintain a proper weight six is eat breakfast and uh, the seventh one is do not eat between meals okay so these are the seven rules in how many ways can a person adopt five of these rules to follow okay so uh, out of these seven rules we have to make sure that in how many ways a person can adopt five of them okay so uh, with respect to the following uh, conditions if the person presently violates all seven rules okay so if a person is not following any of these rules so how many uh, how many items would be in the sample space that in such a way that he is going to follow any five of them okay so in order to do so so let me uh, solve part a here so in order to do so we have a slot of five options let me have it here okay so this one this one slot of five options and here we have to select them all from these seven options okay so from these seven we have to write items here so uh, how to find them out so it means that the order doesn't matter and sequence doesn't matter okay so that's why this is called the combinations okay what is mean by combinations combinations means no smoking and regular exercise let me denote it with e it is same as exercise and no smoking because this is a combination and it doesn't matter that whether uh, exercise comes first and smoking no smoking comes second or vice versa okay so that is what the essence of combination is so in combination we have what the combination is usually represented by ncr where n are the total number of combinations and r are um, where n are the total number of the elements we have while r is what r are the number of items we want to take in a combination so let me write it there so n is total items and r is what the uh, items selected out of n okay so this is what and the formula for it is what so let me write it here that is usually represented by n equals r or it is also n factorial divided by r factorial and n minus r factorial so here we can see that what is the value of n what is the value of r so in our uh, this case the value of n is 7 the value of r is 4 Five, okay because from the seven combinations or the seven number of items we have to get the combinations which are composed of five items okay so therefore let me solve it here and putting values here what i will get i will get here seven factorial divided by five factorial and n minus r is two factorial okay so let me solve it 7 factorial divided by what it would be so it would be let me uh, write it here or writing this uh, 7 factorial is 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by the 5 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial is what that is 2 so these two would cancel out and 6 7 is what 
42 42 divided by 2 is how much that is now 21 okay so the total number of combinations of taking five of the habits would be 21 okay so this is the answer of it is 21 okay so that's what we have got now uh, similarly let me look at the second option here and that is what if the person never drinks and always eats breakfast okay so now uh, two of the habits are already present so therefore if two of the habits are already present and he has to adopt five uh, habits so therefore now three habits are left okay so if three habits are left and from here uh, also two are gone so what do we have to do so let me remove them all first okay so uh, here we can see that initially we had the seven habits and out of seven we had to select the sequences of the five habits now um, out of these seven habits two are already present okay out of these five two are already present so therefore i have to remove these two from it so therefore what i will get here i will get here three habits so i have to choose three habits because two are already present and similarly from these seven already two has gone okay because two are already present so i am not going to mention them here for a person so therefore it will be five here so what i have to do in order to solve it i will have to take n equal to five r equal to three and the formula for the combination is word that is n factorial divided by r factorial and into n minus r four factorial let me write their values so i will get five factorial divided by three factorial into two factorial okay so uh, let me solve it and here it would be 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by the 3 factorial into 2 these two will cancel out here 2 to 4 so what i will get i will get here 10 okay so now the number of items in the sample space according to this condition now is what this is 10 okay so now uh, the um, ambiguity regarding these type of questions is clear because the type of uh, combinatronics method i have used here is basically the what combinations okay and the formula for it is given here it is already mentioned here okay so uh, i think it's enough for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon thank you